What's up, y'all? We've got an unboxing today, but I have to uh, I have to clear off last name table, first name Clark, because I need him to be able to do this unboxing because I've got three panic bars. Here's one of them. There's the other. There's the other two. Uh, these are Adams Right 8400 series dark bronze or the uh, aluminum dark bronze color. And uh, I've got to make sure everything's kosher with them before I drive to the location. So uh, yeah, that's that's not really gonna work a, work for us for this unbox. Just wait. <laughs> Voila! Oh, one more. I hope I don't have to cut these. I'm just gonna carry this one like this. Uh, yeah, and then we've got another box. Oh, we've got a lot of cutting to do. What should we use? Those of uh, you who have already noticed it, yes, we do. Well, we do have a, a bag of 25 uh, clips. I actually found them on Amazon and didn't know they were Lucky Line, and they're Lucky Line. Way cheaper than anybody else, but at least they're lucky line. This big box is considerably lighter than it looks like it should be. Weirdly enough, this one's taped differently than this. Not sure why, but it's like a job for the Cayman from Off Grid Knives. It's just luck that nothing's dented, scratched, or damaged. I think that's supposed to come out. Okay. It's like a some kind of quiet seal. Maybe a shipping thing? Then it dinged or damaged. Where's the back cap? Front cap. Back cap. Okay. Ooh. That's a. Uh, I actually have some of uh, those.
I'm gonna put this in there just in case. I don't see how a loose piece of rubber would be a good idea in a uh, panic device that just willingly fell out like that. So I'm going to guess this is maybe just a piece of rubber to keep it from vibrating in the, uh, in the packaging. Maybe, maybe. We'll see if the other ones fall out too. It's been a while since I put any of these in. How are we going to get this back? Do you, do you, okay, so that's how many packages there are. And then this can go back in here. Just like that. I was kind of hoping there would be a smaller box for this stuff. I'll just uh, rinse and repeat. I'm going to retape this. All right. I guess that's a shipping thing. Chain with the chain. We've got lanyard whistle. We've got more of the same thing with the chain. We have uh, a bag of M29s. We have another bag of M29s. Four YGA mortise cylinders. I realized that I was completely out of GA for Yale of both mortar cylinders and had plenty of room cylinder, but I either can't find my stock. How did you get taped right there? I either can't find my stock of YA mortise and key and knob, so I just uh, tacked on four of each one. Uh, so these will all get unboxed and just thrown in the uh, key and knob area in my truck, the Craftsman bin that holds these. Uh, and that box can be used for something else. And that's, uh, that's really it besides this retail stuff. Shoop. 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 Go ahead and do the two keys, or the one key. Shoop. That one's already shoot. Okay, that's it. Now I guess I get to go put all that in. Let's see how Mount Boxmore is doing. Honestly, not terribly bad at all. Stay. Stay.
I told you to stay. I give up. Ha! Ain't going nowhere now. Uh, I would do this now, but we actually have more product coming in, more retail product coming in. And uh, there's two things that I need to do. I need to condense these. As I sell these out, I keep condensing them and then uh, reordering different kinds. So I'm gonna spread these out amongst here. But these are a little bit odd shape as far as like, they're not the same shape as, you know, these things. So I'm thinking about going, stacking these here up and down and then putting the whistle lanyards beside it. But it depends on how much room I move over here. Uh, I don't know if I got one product coming in or if I move that to a different order. Uh, and then down here on the bottom is where we're putting most of the key tags. But I don't want to do any of that until I get the actual tags here to see how, more, how many more, how much more room it's going to take up. So for now, I'm going to go uh, do a couple of jobs. Not this one necessarily, but maybe. All right, it is the same day and this arrived while I was out doing other stuff replacing the uh, lever handles over there. So, uh, I was gonna switch opening apparatus, but then I decided that would be inappropriate. Mm, I'm kinda a little scared of this one with the closing there. There's just that, that certain point right there, if you flick too hard, yeah. Right. Move. No shredded invoices. What the hell? Kim's here. Just we gotta wait till she comes up here. Oh, MOF 13 A dormitory. This is a Ann Arbor design with a bigger trim on it. Deadbolt only, no toggle. I found this is the best one, honestly. I'm not real fond of the one with the toggle. Oh, no wonder this was so heavy. Schlage brass, quick set brass, Schlage and brass. Oh, this was a pricey one. Okay. So, two, both of those. Do we need to weigh them? I don't know if I feel like it. Uh, clear versions with rings instead of uh, the chains. Uh, I've got as many as they had. I believe on this one, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. We have some Sergeant RA, we have some Craftsman Toolbox 1605, 1605, uh, some more 1028s. I've been using those a lot for flat steel. A 1515NS, that's the old Medico. Oh, Medico, got 10 more of those. I've really only got one or two properties that are still using that. Uh, 417, 2060, this is SFIC mortise cylinders, probably with the taper head because I was out of those. Let's see, let's see, where are you? Oh, come on. This is, uh, This is the one for this, with the funny tailpiece on the back, which is actually, uh, what, Falcons or something like that? I think that's a Falcon tailpiece. So that's that. This is Taperhead. Yes, Taperhead, Mortar Saunders. Just ordered a couple of those. I was gonna get four, but then I was like, yeah, I've got some flatheads if I really need to in a pinch, uh, so I'm building the taper head selection back up. Uh, inch and a quarter quick set, I actually need, this is actually earmarked for a customer who is probably in a day gonna call and say, go ahead and put it on, we're just waiting for the money to do it. Uh, so inch and a quarter, I uh, believe I gotta key it to a quick set keyway, so these require, since it's got this super thick trim, these require inch and a quarter keyway cylinders, or inch and a quarter, and I don't really keep inch and a quarter in stock, except for inch and three eighths uh, non-tapered head. Uh, they're about an inch and three eighths 
uh, thick of width. So that would fit in there too. You just have to have that tailpiece for your regular SFIC cylinder. You would have to have that Falcon tailpiece. So they sell their own cylinder, which is inch and 38. Armalai telescopic bolts, telescopic bolts. Uh, I got through quite a few of those actually around here. Uh, all right, Sergeant uh, RA through RC, which is all they had. I think I wiped them out on this. Uh, eight knob cylinders, four of which need to go ahead and come out because they are going to be used for a customer. Uh, along with uh, pretty much this whole bag of RA keys. But I'm not using these. I'm going to use the ones on my wall. These are for the truck. So actually we're gonna put this together, this together. Where's those Yales that I already took them to the truck? Hmm. Uh, this can this can go in here. Actually, this could probably go in here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking we do. Maybe put one and one in, in there if there's room. Think about that. Uh, and then a few double cylinder bright brass are the R and the, the 25 removable cylinder and the 25 non-removable cylinder are, are both the same uh, pretty much price. So I just started getting the removable cylinder in case I need to switch cylinders out. That's it. Uh, let us get these hung up and this all so do that. These go in the truck. Just on the truck. These go get labeled. All right. All right. I come. No. I come. No. I come. No. Come. No. Come. No. And we're finally back at it. <laughs> it's uh, been a day and a half, but I need to get all this out the way.
you're going to flute this guy right in here because uh, that's really all it's for. Yeah. And this is going to go somewhere. Probably next to that. And these go to the truck. These go to the truck. And these go... Uh, not necessarily in the truck, but I've got a uh, special place for SFIC. Come up with a container to hold all these random SFIC cylinders there. Oh, look, new, uh, new, uh, a thing for the computer. And yes, we have switched out all three panic devices. Here's the end result of it. Look at these poor guys. You think that, uh, I think it needed to be replaced. They had actually glued on, where is it? Do I have one in there? Yeah, here it is. It had actually uh, gotten this piece of, I don't know what this is, some kind of L-shaped plastic and, uh, and glued it on to the bar there, right? So uh, I guess as a protector. But uh, yeah, these were pretty, these were pretty rough. over there all painted up cylinders painted up pretty bad nothing was working on them and had quite a bit of trouble on a couple of the doors not with switching the bar out but with actually making a lock because the doors were so wonky so yeah, there you go you ever seen one with a uh, protector on it with double-sided tape little bit these three go in the truck with the other things uh tomorrow morning i actually have to put all this uh this this the yale cylinders that i actually can't remember if the video or not uh, and then these two of the last things is that whoa that guy is uh it still works but it's one of those old corbin rust i'm just gonna scrap it it's its uh, classroom function, so uh, it's been heavily used by contractors. Let's see, how do we want to do this? We need to move, let's move these guys down. Uh, is that going to fit? That's not going to fit right there. I don't know why we have this like that, but you now it can go right there. Uh, because we are not quite, we're almost at the point there. I guess I could stamp all these, but you know what? It's the end of the day. I'll tell you what, we can't not have. A slow mo pour. lights off to do slow-mo that is it for the unboxing and stocking again all that goes on the truck it's the end of the day i've uh opened up several businesses today and put on several panic bars and uh, i'm kind of worn out so we are done with this video appreciate you watching if you have any questions or comments which i don't know why you would but if you did or you do post them in the comment section we'll catch y'all next video i forgot about those How'd that get in there? A free number two bet.